At the Metro Denver North Islamic Center, people drop off an assortment of items for their new neighbors from Afghanistan. The donations began soon after Afghans began fleeing their country in large numbers in August. It's all I could think of, losing everything they have and coming brand new to a country they don't know and have nothing, literally nothing but each other. So helping out the best I can. Clothes, cookware and household items, even a rug in one case. Some children focused on one thing in particular. We have 1,317 pairs of socks that the kids were able to collect in, in about two weeks. Kids understand socks. These new residents of America are trying to get back on their feet. 1,100 new Afghan refugees, many of whom left virtually everything behind, have landed in Colorado already. They're still on their way. They're coming more every every time we turn around. There's new families we're introduced to. Laylee Hashem has helped lead her mosque's resource effort, which included vaccines on a recent Saturday. Many of these refugees began their new lives in America on U.S. military bases. Finding a roof over their heads now that they're in Colorado has been a real challenge. We feel like we are still in the base because we don't have much spit space to buy our own clothes or uh, items that we need for our life to start. Like many, Safiula Aymak and his family are staying in a hotel. Others are in transitional housing that's just been set up in the Denver area. With the help of federal funding, a system has been set up to provide a range of services to refugees, like advice on looking for a job. The things that will be looked at are, you know, where is it? Does it allow transportation? What is the wage? What is the career growth? Those are the types of questions that Afghans and refugee resettlement agencies will have as they begin to determine what is a good fit for an individual and what is a good fit for your business. Getting the proper work documents will come before all that. Omid Rawan left his entire family in Afghanistan. I'm trying, I'm struggling just to get my family as soon as possible here with myself. Yeah, it's really difficult to be away from your family. Turns out he may soon be their sole provider. There's no job, there's no work for people in Afghanistan, and they're facing like economic problems and also, so these are all the challenges which really suffer me here. It can all be a bit much for all those involved in the resettlement effort. None of us knew what we're getting into. I'm overwhelmed, but the feeling is good, you know. We are excited that we are able to hold somebody else's hand. 900 more Afghan refugees are expected in Colorado by the end of February. More challenges, and if all goes well, a brighter future lie ahead. New life, new opportunities, peaceful environment, great people around me, so that's much appreciated. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, North Glen, Colorado.